Hey there folks, thanks so much for joining me on my YouTube channel. Before I get to the topic today of how to steal movie scenes for your own book, let me just say that my new release, The Brethren Elders, is out there now. It's available on all the Amazon sites. Uh, it is a controversial book. I'm very, very proud of it, and so far the reviews have been fantastic on really really pleased so uh, if you could go to my website check it out or just check out JW Collins author on amazon.com or .ca you will find it and uh, I would love it if you would uh, purchase it and uh, give me a rating on it whatever you might think about it that would be fantastic okay to get started how to steal movie scenes for your own book. We all watch movies. I highly recommend watching movies, if you're a writer especially. And if you, if you watch movies, you're going to enjoy certain scenes from certain actors that you really like, or, or actors that you don't like. But there's going to be gestures, there's going to be expressions that they use, that are just priceless. Several actors come to mind who have just tremendous facial expressions that say so much with their eyes or their gestures that they use. Uh, Robert Duvall comes to mind. Uh, so, so many of them. Um, so you want to try to write those into your book. So here's, a, here's an example, okay. Uh, so here's a movie scene. A guy comes through a door. He closes the door behind him and he presses his back up against it and he rests his head up against the door as well too, closes his eyes and says something like, I can't do this. Whatever, with all the expression and all the emotion of that man's face, it's powerful, okay? Now here's how I would write that into a book, and I've got it written down here so I can get it right. Here's how I would interpret that, take that, steal that scene without anybody knowing what I've done, where I've gotten this from. Here's what I would say. She bolted through the door and closed it hard when her back slammed into it. Carrie's head thudded against the wood as she shut her eyes. God Almighty, she said softly. A salty tear slid downward and caught the corner of her mouth. Now that right there, again, you can visualize that. And sir, as I, as I read that, you can see that. You can, you can visualize that. Because I stole it. I stole it from my previous thought of some movie of some guy doing it, right? It's extremely, extremely powerful. You want to change the words, you want to, you know, your character is of course going to be different, the whole scenario is going to be different than what you might see in the movie. You know, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to do and it is extremely, extremely powerful. I highly, highly recommend trying it, just noticing things like that in the movies that you love. Certain scenes, expressions, uh, facial expressions, if, a, if an actor just, you know, slowly squints his eyes a little bit, you know, as he's, like Clint Eastwood, you know, my God, Mr. Squint himself, you know, when he closes his eyes and squints, you know, gets that look. You know, nobody uh, can deny that that's powerful. Like he's, he's just, a, he's an amazing actor that way, that look. When that lip of his curls, you know, kind of lifts up on the one side, Go ahead, make my apple pie. <laughs> you know, it's just undeniably powerful. But you can take those kind of things and make it your own. 
I hope that tip helped and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my email list on my website. I'll have a link below uh, to my website again. Please check out uh, The Brethren Elders, my latest, and check out all my work on my website. If you sign up for email list, you'll get a free download of uh, my short story, A Wounded Horse. And uh, you can get a short story uh, free as well too of Duende Perez. So um, until next time, thanks for watching and I will see you soon.